Pisces, this is your January reading. We are going to have a look and see what is coming through, what messages I have for you. And of course, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I'm very excited. I hope you are as well. We're going to really see what is coming through and what messages I can give to you as well. All right, so I've got the cards ready to go. If you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that my intention manifesting items are on my website. So these are items which are handmade, meditated with and staged. Thousands of people have seen results with them. So if you wanted to check out um, the items are on shopmoonlightguidance.com and if you scroll to the bottom of the website you'll find the review section. There are bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. Um, there's also crystals, candles and sage. The candles are handmade and hand poured. I need to grab an example to like show you but basically um, yeah they're really special and they are they work. I mean, <laughs> you just kind of have to check the items out for yourself really to see how, how they work and things like that. Okay, so Aries, let's begin. Sorry, my ponytail is really tight today and you know when it just like kind of pulls? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Two of Cups with a Sun card. Holy guacamole. So there is a love that enters your life here. There is a beautiful, beautiful sense of commitment, stability, security, joy, fulfillment, happiness that I see in January. It's interesting because you've got a Mercury retrograde and a Venus retrograde in January. And so a lot of people would be like, meh, that's just, not, that's a month to like just write off, you know, in terms of love. Not necessarily because Mercury retrograde can really push people to express their feelings when they wouldn't have done otherwise. And a Venus retrograde can push people to commit um, at a time when they may not have done otherwise. It's interesting, sometimes retrogrades can really push people into doing the opposite to what they have done. Um, not in a negative way though, that's what I would say, in a bit more of a positive way from what I see, especially for you here, Aries. I have chills. Does anyone else have chills? I really do. You probably can't even see it, to be honest, but... Ooh, okay. Well... Speaking of which, you've got the Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. This can't be missed. It, it cannot be missed. And so what I would say is, first of all, you've got the Eight of Wands, which shows great communication around. You're going to have so much communication with people around you. Whereas if you thought to yourself, you know what, this person didn't really respond to me. This person was really not talking to me. This person was just not responding. Oh, trust me, you're getting responses here in January. If you had something that was very urgent and needed a response or you contacted customer service, it seems to me like the responses, um, whereas they could have been a bit more delayed in December, they seem to be a lot more uh, progressive in January. So things are coming together a little bit more in January, interestingly enough. So I think actually that's quite nice. Even though you've got Mercury retrograde, it seems like people are quite fast to communicate. Um, the only thing I will say is that even though people can be fast to communicate, just make sure you double check, reread over, um, you know, any grammar mistakes, any spelling mistakes, numbers, letters, words, just in case. If you sign, just making sure you sign in the right place. You double check figures when making little transfers here and there. The reason I say that is because there can be some little glitches here and there. And also there can be some like mistakes, you know, in terms of that. Because Mercury retrograde is very well known for that as well. But it's just something to keep in mind. Just take your time. This is the Four of Swords. Take your time in terms of checking things. If you are writing an exam, if you are studying, just double checking your papers, double checking the work that you're submitting is really important this month. Because that's the thing is that even though you're getting very fast, 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 effective communication... I mean, I say effective, it's effective in the sense that people are being efficient, right, with, with messaging and keeping up with things, but there could be some mistakes and 
things like that that happen, okay? So it's just something I want to mention because some of you I know study and some of you are in the work environment. Regardless, just double check things. That's all I'm going to say. I think I've said this for just about every star sign video, but it's so true and I feel like it's going to save so many of you from either further delays or just um, headaches, you know, headaches. Okay, two of pentacles. So it's very evident here. Let's just switch to love for a second. Oh, speaking of which, there's someone here that's thinking about a future with you. They're thinking about how they could live with you, how they could make things work with you even further. Two of pentacles here. You know, there could have been some obstacles and challenges in this connection prior, but what I see with the sun is that they want to come forward. They want to express their feelings to you. They want to tell you, I really like you. I really care about you. Um, and the thing is, it varies from connection to connection. Some of you, for some of you, it could be that you have only just started dating this person. For others of you, you may have known this person for a long time, but you may not be together yet. For others of you, you're in a, you've been in a situation for a long time. For others of you, you're in a relationship and it's time to go to that next, next level, naturally. So I just feel here that regardless of your situation in love, it's about taking that to the next level and there's a lot of thought around that in January as well from another person towards you. And I think that's really exciting. Really, really exciting. Even with the Two of Cups, there's just an excitement and a buzz around this where someone wants to progress things with you, move things along with you and just enjoy, you know, enjoy a connection with you. I think that's really beautiful. Temperance. Let me just go like this. King of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Justice. Yep, your good karma is coming your way. It is. I think what's really exciting here with the King of Pentacles is that some of you are also getting proposed to or you're being asked, hey, would you like to be in a commitment? Would you like to um, move in with me? Things like that. So temperance goes to show it varies from person to person. For those of you that are completely single, you may find that there is someone that you actually really like and that maybe they like you back as well. Which I think is really lovely. And justice here. Again, justice is very important, okay? Justice is about like documents and things like that. Just take your time. Looking at them, reading them, going through them, really, really important. I can't stress this enough. If there's something that you need to know about this, this particular month, just take your time when reading documents, terms and conditions, things like that. Three of the pentacles. Yes, yeah, this is a really nice environment in terms of your work area or your work environment. Um, there just seems to be here that some of you might also be like redecorating or your work environment might be redecorating or doing renovations uh, or just there's a rearranging kind of energy that I've seen in regards to your work area or work environment. Three of Cups, there is some socializing here. Again, lots of communication is going to take place. That's something I really see for sure. And then we've got the Nine of Cups. There's a really nice, comfortable energy in January where you feel happy, you feel motivated, you feel good, you feel balanced going through the entire month. You're not thinking to yourself, oh, I wish it was like this. And oh, it's such a year to like, uh, sorry, it was such a month to write off. Um, you know, you're, you're going to feel comfortable and you're going to feel like, you know, I got this. It's progressing well. It's not the end of the world. Nine of Wands, you're also thinking creatively of lots of different new ideas and things that you want to also implement as well. And I just feel overall that things are progressing. We have the eight to the nine there. We have the two to the three of cups. Well, actually, we have the one, the two and the three. So that's beautiful. You have the Knight to the King of Pentacles. So January is a time of progress and it's not something that you will just miss. These are things that will literally come into your face or come to you via communication. You're not going to miss these opportunities. It's not like you have to search so hard or keep your eyes peeled for it to happen some way, shape or form. It comes together, it progresses and it makes you feel good. So the sun here is a very feel good energy that comes your way. People are so much more respectful and kinder and more generous towards you in the new year. And I feel like that's because there's a lot of people that kind of think like, oh, new year, new me, I'm gonna, you know, go into things with no grudges. I'm going to just try not to think so much about the past. And so January is one of those months where you may find that people are much nicer to you than they have been in the past just saying okay like it's one of those things where you might find that someone that maybe you didn't get along with is just being extra nice to you and you're thinking what happened to them is this the same person <laughs> like what went on you may also find this you know romantically as well that there are people that are nicer to you that may you know at times may not have been uh, there's people that are much more communicative and you're thinking what is going on here why are they talking to me much more than they 
<laughs> much more than they ever did before and that's really the reason why okay so yeah mercury retrograde combined with venus retrograde does things like this all right so that's what we've got aries of course if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website and definitely do take care as well so yeah, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post short readings on there every single day. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.